Hello, it's Mario Jordan, your Las Vegas probate specialist, where I ask his family is going through the probate process with real estate and more. I thank you for taking a few minutes to spend with me today on my YouTube channel for another video. It is more important than ever as a personal representative to stay current with the real estate market if the estate contains real estate. Now, who you work with matters to maximize the value of the estate and to shorten the probate timeline. Each month, I produce this overview specific to probate properties. I will provide an overview of all probate properties and market stats for probate properties that are under $299,000, $300,000 to $399,000, $400,000 to $499,000, and lastly, properties over $500,000. Now that I've provided some background, let's discuss the data from January 2023. First, let's start by just providing you with an overview of the entire market of probate properties for sale, under contract, and sold. As of January 31st, there were 159 active listings with a price range of $130,000 to $1.2 million, an average list price of $388,000, and the number of days on market range from 0 to 322 days on market. And lastly, the average days on market was 77 days. Interestingly, the number of active listings are down from 184 properties just last month. Our inventory has reduced in the overall market as well, and reflected here specific to probate properties. I'm excited to see inventory levels falling and more buyers coming back to the market after interest rates have now stabilized. Next, probate properties on the contract, meaning they have an accepted offer and working towards a closing, there were 156 properties with an accepted offer. The properties on the contract have a price range from 25,000 to 1.25 million. The average under contract price was 331,000 versus 324,000 last month. The average days on market was 61 days this month versus 53 last month. Before we discuss properties sold over the past 90 days, let me mention the properties, unfortunately, that did not sell before the expiration of the listing agreement. Now, we had 17 properties that did not find a buyer or a successful offer versus just 11 properties in the same time frame last month. I expect these properties to come back to market, probably with another real estate professional, and or strategies to find a successful buyer. Now, moving ahead to properties sold over the last 90 days, there were 152 probate properties sold that closed in January 2023. This is an important number to keep an eye on going forward, but fortunately, we experienced a slight increase in closings from last month. January saw 161 closings. This was experienced for both probate and non-probate properties. Now, some other important statistics for every personal representative with real estate is the average original list price. Here was the $390,000, the average last list price was $346,000, and the average sold price was only $330,000. And when you evaluate the sold price versus last list price, it was 95%. So sellers received approximately 5% less than what they were asking for probate property sold. Let's dive a little bit deeper into probate properties and segment by price range, status, and a few other relevant data points. The first price range we will discuss is sales prices up to $299,000. Now, there were 38 properties on the market versus 50 last month, an average of 78 days on market. In the same price range, we had 64 properties that are under contract, meaning they have an accepted offer with an average of 52 days on market before receiving a successful offer. Lastly, there were 62 homes in this price range that have sold in the last 90 days as of January 31st with an average of 38 days on market. Now, buyers received an average of a 7% discount from the original list price to final close price. To provide a little more context, at the average original uh, list price of $253,000, the average last list price was $238,000, and the average close price was $220,000. Now, this is typically a very active segment for probate and non-probate properties. Now, let's move on to the next segment of the report for properties priced between $300,000 and $399,000. As of January 31st, there were 66 properties on the market, an average of 68 days on market. Now, this price range has the most available inventory, typical for probate properties. Now, in the same price range, 61 properties are under contract, meaning they have an accepted offer and an average of 66 days on market. Lastly, there were 54 homes in this price range that have sold in the last 90 days with an average of 45 days on market. Now, buyers received an average of a 4% discount from the original list price to close price. Now, the average 
original list price was four hundred thirty-eight thousand. The average last list price was three hundred fifty-four thousand, and average close price of only three hundred thirty-nine thousand. Now, did you notice the huge gap from original list price to close price? No other price segment ex experienced such a huge price reduction to receive an accepted offer. And this price range is normally is a, a true pulse of the market for our overall real estate market. I personally often use this price segment as a gauge of the real estate health. Now, moving on, now we will review the properties for um, a property's price between four hundred thousand and four hundred ninety nine thousand. There were thirty four properties on the market in an average of seventy three days on market. In this same price range, seventeen properties are under contract, meaning again they have an accepted offer, an average of sixty three days on market. Lastly. 22 homes in this price range that have sold in the last 90 days, an average of 47 days on market. Now, buyers receive an average of a 2% discount from original list to close price. This represents the lowest buyer discount from the previous price segments mentioned. The average original list price was $479,000, the average last list price was $448,000, and the average close price was $436,000. Now we're at the top of our price range here, probate properties at 500,000 plus. There were 21 properties on the market, an astounding average of 112 days on market. Of the price segments discussed, this price range has the highest days on market. There are multiple reasons for this for both probate and non-probate properties. In the same price range, 14 properties are under contract, meaning they have an accepted offer, an average of 85 days on market. Lastly, there were 14 homes in this price range have been sold in the last 90 days and 44 days on average days on market. Buyers received an average of a 2% discount from original list price to close price. This is also the lowest buyer discount from the previous price segments mentioned. The average original list price was 668,000 the average last list price was $629,000, and the average close price was $612,000. Now, some probate properties have longer escrow periods, or better explain the time from accepted offer to closing date. Many probate properties require a court confirmation date that is subject to availability, which can range from 4 to 12 or more weeks out. Now, as I mentioned before, it is more important than ever to work with the right real estate professional. Understanding your role and responsibility as the personal representative to maximize the value of the estate, working with a professional who has experience with probate real estate is absolutely crucial. Now, this concludes the January 2023 probate market overview. Expect an update monthly on the probate property market statistics, along with explanations regarding the data and how you can use this information if you are currently going through the probate process to maximize the value of the estate and shorten the time from beginning to end. My name again is Mario Joyner, your Las Vegas probate specialist, where we discuss everything real estate and more. Please feel free to leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. My contact information can also be found below to discuss your personal situation. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video next week on another probate matter.